you know, this year I've really fallen back in love with hunting, like just going out to the stores and seeing what I find with no guarantee, no promise of actually finding what I want. Over the last few years, I really kind of got disillusioned with the idea. Gas got really expensive, distribution wasn't great, and never really has been great where I live in the Midwest, and everything just seemed more convenient to get online. I was super busy, and I still am really busy, but this year, I had some really good luck in the stores on limited tries. It's like, all right, first try Friday, let's go. I go to the Target. And I find a full case sale. You know, I go to another store. I find glow racers for the first time in the United States. Like, it was awesome, you know. I was able to buy what I wanted a lot of the times before it even became easily available at a good price online. Like Randy, for example, and we'll get into him, is still super expensive. And that's probably, you know, it is because he is likely to be the rarest release from 2023 along with Bella Cadaver. We'll get to all that. But yeah, I really kind of fell back in love with hunting and that's kind of what this series is about on the channel here. I love the reflections. You know, you get to see my hand gestures and all that as I talk to myself. But yeah, what is out? What's out? That is the question at hand today in the second installment of the series. I did one back in June. And I feel like it's another great time to kind of catch everyone up. It's a little overwhelming that there's a lot of different things going on between mini racers, color changers, the 155 scale die cast line, and now we got glow racers too. Stuff at all different sorts of stores, different countries. It is difficult to keep track of, so I'm going to try and help you guys out and make it a little bit easier like so you can narrow your focus because I hear people all the time saying like oh yeah I'm going out to find this I'm like that hasn't even been found in your country yet or that hasn't even been found at that store yet or straight up that store doesn't even carry that product you know so it's all about access to information so if I can inform you guys you know and make better decisions hunting save time save money on gas that's what I'm here to do. That's the main goal of all this. So let's just get right into it. This is like the newest of the new. So Mato, all that stuff from like June, July, that's old now. I mean, that's been out. Mato came and went. You don't really find her anymore unless you get lucky at Walmart. But yeah, that's the other big thing. A lot of people think what they can find at Walmart is what they could find at Target. But ever since Walmart started getting in those 12 count half cases, it has become vital to know what's in those cases so you can accurately decide what stores you need to go to. Like for example, if you're looking for squat, you're not going to find her at Walmart. We'll get into all the details here. We're going to start off with a little bit more of the basics though. Clutch Kringle, the brand new holiday release I just reviewed on the channel. The Elf from Mater Saves Christmas or one of the many elves. Awesome release, like I talked about in that video. It's one of the best that they've done in a long time. Now, there is a report out there of someone finding this at Target, and that seems a little premature. Like, I doubt they're going to put out their holiday stuff. So, I would go to your Kroger if you have one, if you're kind of in the Midwest, if you have a Fry store, if you're in the Southwest, if you have a Fred Meyer store, if you're in the Northwest. And any other stores affiliated with that, I'm pretty sure Jewel Osco will get them in eventually because they got on the holiday releases several years ago and last year. So if you want to find this car, go to those stores. They're not going to show up at Walmart and may not show up at Target for a little bit here. And then secondly, at these stores, they're likely to be in a stand-up display in the like side of the aisle. They're not likely to be on the pegs. They're gonna have a separate display for that. So that is how you go about finding Clutch Kringle right now, one of the newest releases, but you actually have a pretty good shot of finding it simply because a lot of Kroger's will get them in regardless. You know, it's a lot more certain, more surefire than Target getting in like one certain case. Like all the Kroger's across the United States are very bound at some point over the next month or two here to get in the wintertime cruisers. Now, color changers are out and about in full force. Of course, this one has been out for a while. Cryptid Buster, Lightning McQueen, super easy to find. So we're just going to gloss over him. But Royce Revsley and the Blue Sheriff here are the new ones. They are hitting Meyer stores and Walmart stores. I have not seen, I haven't seen anyone report of finding these two brand new color changers at Target, right? So 
Walmart, yes, checkmark, and Meyer. Two very good options. Shouldn't be that hard to find either of these two as it is with any color changer. You know, once they hit the stores, you know, give it like a week and there's like a bunch of them on the pegs, you know. Took me a little bit. Like I remember I found Royce and didn't find Shara for a little bit. And then now like they're at all the stores I go to. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, now Tomika, if you are over in Japan, you should be able to go to any stores that sell Tomika cars and find these pretty easily. They're for the Lightning McQueen Day, and you also should be able to find their newest releases, Todd the Pizza Planet Truck, coincidentally. Very odd that it came out at the same time as the Mattel version. And Lightning McQueen Deputy Hazard. Those are the two new Tomica releases that just debuted in October. These ones were last month, and I will be reviewing them on my channel here soon, if not already. These guys look awesome. You know, I can't believe they kind of took a risk and went for a blue design, which is such a departure from what you're kind of used to. But that's, you know, what we've come to expect. Like last year, they did the Cherry Blossom versions, which were awesome as well. I don't think these blue ones are quite as cool as that. But yeah, I mean, they're right up there. All right, next up, you have the D100 Cruise and Lightning McQueen promo. Now, it's really important to talk about this now because you can go get this right now on Target's website. They are selling it for five bucks. However, Unfortunately, it's kind of like an add-on item. If you guys remember, add-on items back in like 2016 on Amazon were lower cost Amazon items that you could not buy unless you had $25 worth of stuff in your cart. It was horrible. I think you might have been able to get away with it, but you would have to like buy, you would have to like pay an absurd amount in shipping, right? And the add-on items were always, always, always the Disney cars. And this was a period of time, this was like the golden age for Amazon cars because they would get in the newest singles for retail price. It was amazing. And some of them weren't even add-on items. I know this is a tangent, but I remember distinctly, you know, back in the day, like Transforming McQueen, Autobahn, Heike, Claude Scruggs and like Dave Alternators all came up on Amazon for like $4, $3.99 add-on items and bam, you're good to go. Like it was literally the best they'd show up. They wouldn't be in the best of condition or shape in terms of the packagings because, you know, they just rattle around the box without much packing. But still, though, it was crazy. I mean, they did this for Deluxes 2 and 2 packs. So anyways, the whole point is it's a similar deal here on Target's website, although it wasn't that way when they first put them up on there. You could actually have ordered them individually, which is what I did. But then one of my buddies who lives outside the U.S., Trunk Fresh Green 34, asked me to get some for him. And I saw they implement this new rule because they want you to buy $25 worth of cars items. And then you just get this for free, which is, of course, a pretty good option still. It's just I don't really care for what they have on there. They don't have a great offering, lots of play sets and all the plastic stuff that, you know, if I wanted it, like the Glow Racers Mac, I already bought it in the store. But, I mean, that is on there. I guess that is a pretty good option to tack on. So that is an option. Like, I just want to put it out there. You can get this, you know, pretty easily now. And it is a nice release. I reviewed it over the summer. Nothing too crazy, though. And similar to Amazon because it's, you know, a big corporation. They are going to, you know, not package them super well. And there's nothing you could do. Like, you're going to be able to return it. Okay, cool. You get your money back. And they're going to send you another one in the exact same way, right? They don't care. And that's just kind of how it goes. It's going to be tough to get any of these on good cards. And yeah, I mean, so if you do get one on a good card, cherish it, right? All right. Speaking of Target, the Glow Racers 4-pack is out and about. I'm not sure. I don't believe it's on their website yet. I would not be surprised if it is, though, soon. But it is out in you know full force at stores. There is an end cap that actually has some Glow Racers stuff, the Mac playset and these four packs so if you don't see it in the main cars aisle take a look on those outward facing end caps and i mean outward by like facing the main aisle not the aisle that butts up against either the back of the store or it's kind of hard to explain but like another mid aisle like it's going to be facing like the main corridor that's where they're wanting to put it you know so everyone can see it $25.99 is the typical price, but a lot of them have been getting discounted down to $19.99. So a really good deal there, considering the individual Glow Racers are $6.49 
what the hell target i can't believe how crazy overpriced those are but yeah if you get this four pack you knock out the first three singles that they have done and you get this extra car for a great deal like you're saving a ton of money i think it's a no-brainer however of course i bought all the singles before the four pack came out didn't even know there was going to be a four pack so i kind of got screwed in that sense but here they are you have lightning mcqueen now, Mather is the rarest because there's only one per case. There are three McQueen. No, there's four McQueens, two Cruises. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I think there are three McQueens, two Cruises, and one Mather for a total of six per case. Yep, that is exactly it. So Mather's the rarest, but you know, as the weeks have gone on, I've been seeing more and more of him because you know people have had a chance to get him, and they just keep restocking these. And then here is Cruise. Now they are doing a will rush that vinyl toupe next gen over there as a single like they are going to do him as a single along with fillmore hopefully soon you know we've seen them debut like they've leaked out on a website and so hopefully it comes out soon i'm banking on it because i don't want to open this four pack i really have no intention to do so considering the price i don't want to have all those duplicates in my possession so don't count on me reviewing this four pack i'm going to wait for that single to come out and yeah, this is one of the very rare times where I'm actually not going to jump on something to review it first or at least get the review out for you guys. It just doesn't make any sense for me to open this whole four pack when the single of Will Rush should be out literally any day now. And hopefully these sell well enough so Target's like, yes, we'll keep on ordering them, keep on giving us Glow Racer singles. Now also at Target are Mini Racer three packs. You got the Mossy Ivy one here with Margaret Motoray and Crypto Buster McQueen, one of the best value three packs that I remember over the last few years because both of these two bottom ones were recently released as Mini Racer singles that you know not many people have access to that's another one of those fred meyers heb kroger type of products again doesn't make any sense but that's just how it goes and so the three packs you know being much more readily available at target is you know awesome in the sense that you get kind of a shot at maybe three brand new cars obviously mossy ivy is new to this one and has not been released in any other way the other new one in this pack in this case rather is Chief Lightning McQueen, and you got Cruz and Jackson in that one as well. No one really cares about Cruz and Jackson, but Chief McQueen is pretty cool. Hopefully they do a full version of him here soon as well. All right, what should we talk about next? Oh yeah, the Glow Racer singles are showing up at Meyer stores. Now, of course, I know Meyer is a regional store. Not a ton of people like have Meyer's just you know chilling around, and I hate that that just happened, but I wanted to get rid of that one reflection but yeah they are out there and they're the same price i think they're 649 as well now we're gonna go alphabetically here so squat yeah you are in both case l and m now both of those cases are hitting target and we know that target still gets full count cases in that's a huge win so squat is going to not be as hard to find as the weeks here go on you know obviously case l super rare randy's in case l and he is going to be one of the rarest cars of the year because he was removed from case m rendering him a one case wonder as i like to call it not many of those really exist these days like you think oh doug crankle only in case d but then pop boom doug crankle is back in case l you think jeremy one hit wonder case h nope he's back in case m so mattel does have a sneaky way of snaking these cars back in cases but you do have a few of those whether it be you know almost everything that's new in case m miles axerad we'll get to all that but jay shoe steer is another example only in case l greg Candyman, donna pitts only in case l those do not repeat breaker boggs is in case l as well but there are two of him in the case and the Walmart version of KSL, the half version of it, has breaker box. Now, I think if you're really thinking holistically about it all, that's not great because Walmart already has the five pack with breaker box in it. So in essence, it's like double breaker box action. It's like, all right, man, like let me put it this way. Case J or Case L rather, excuse me, is one of the best cases of the year. You got Randy, you got Squat, Breaker Boggs, Jay Schuster, Donna Pitts, Johnny Blamer, and Greg Candyman, and Mallory Carhart. Okay. Now, almost all those debuted in that case. Like every one of those did debut in that case, except for Johnny Blamer and Mallory Carhart. 
So which three of all those does whoever decides the cases, whoever decides that they decide, they take three of those, which three do they take? They take Breaker Boggs, Johnny Blamer, who didn't even debut in this case, and they take Mallory Carhut, who didn't even debut in that case. So what I'm trying to say is if you're going to Walmart looking for Randy, you're not going to find him. If you go Walmart looking for Squat, you're not going to find her. If you go Walmart looking for Don Pitts, Jay Schuster, or Greg Candyman, you're not going to find them. They will never touch. They will never see the inside of a Walmart unless somebody returns it, which is going to be a really rare situation. I don't see anyone returning a Randy. These are the three cars that you're going to see that stand out to you from Case L at Walmart, which is hitting stores right now. Highly disappointing. Let me reiterate this. Mallory Carhut was in Case K, okay? And the Walmart version of Case K with Mato and Patty, okay? That case seems great, but it's also missing a bunch. Quadratorkasar, Tubbs Pacer, and Vladimir Trunkov, and Dexter Hoover with Green Flag. None of those have hit the United States in any large capacity because Target has not gone in case K, and they probably won't because they already you know, are on case M. Okay, So Walmart now got in two back-to-back -back cases with Mallory Carhut. Walmart now has gotten in Breaker Boggs in a five-pack and single form over the last couple months. And then Johnny Blamer here, first time at Walmart for him. He debuted in Case J, and Walmart's version of that case did not include Johnny Blamer. But still, though, it is, you know, a new, like, it's a Piston Cup variant. It's not a new character. Case J did not hit Target in any large capacity. But Case L, with Johnny Blamer, of course... As we talked about with Randy Squat, the whole shebang is at Target, okay? So I really feel like they picked the three worst ones to have included in this case. The three best would have probably been Randy Squat and Jay Schuster. So I just wanted to put that out there. I found a full case L one time. I didn't even ever find real remnants of it ever again. It was, you know, it's honestly one of the rarest cases of the entire year so far. Very grateful to have found it the way I did. Like here is the J Shoe Steer that I found from that store. You know, and it's funny, Palmart, who I don't really advertise, but I will put his name out here today. I get my cases typically from him because he just gets them in first. But he did get in case L. So if you know you are looking to just, you know, forget all those antics like Walmart Target trying to calculate your best route. You can just get the case online, although he might you know, have sold it out. But I do believe at the moment he has both, including case K, which is a better buy because you get the Quadratorgasar, Tubbs Pacer, Vladimir Trunkov, Dexter Hoover with green flag. Really great value there. So I just wanted to put that out there as a resource. A lot of people ask where I get the cases from. But ultimately, I think the better seller is get me collectibles. He's got more variety on his eBay store. He's a better seller, better communicator. And just an overall great guy. Paul Mart, I almost, you know, I'm going to just say, I'm not sponsored by him, so I can say whatever I want. He, you know, I buy from him out of necessity rather than choice. But yeah, here you have Squat. I got this one that I'm holding from a good friend who found a full case M. Okay, so now we're going to talk about case M. Okay, so Walmart has not gotten in their half version of case M yet. But if you want to see the contents for that, I put it in both of my Case M videos, the unboxing, or not the unboxing, but rather the review of that case and the reveal of that case back on August 1st or 15th. Now, Squat here, like I said, back-to-back -back cases at Target, so hopefully she is not going to be as rare as some of these other ones like Randy. There he is. Now, Case M does offer some newbies like Miles Axrod with Open Hood here. Two of them, in fact, are in this case. So that is a pretty big win, I would say. I think that's a good, you know, twofer. Not the best twofer. Two Todds would have been great, but then you kind of dilute him a little bit. So I think this is probably a good decision. Obviously, he was a chase in 2013, not technically supposed to ever be re-released, but here he is. Miles Axrod with Open Hood. First time from Thailand. Cars 2, love to see it. Not the only Cars 2 action we get from Case M, however. Mark Wilson is also back, first time being released from Thailand. 
and has not been released since 2013 either. But he was not a chase, so technically it's all good in the hood. It's all loud. There's only one of him in the case, so he will probably sell pretty well. You can almost count some of these re-releases as new releases at this point. It's been practically over 10 years. Like Mark Wilson was released, I think, like in around case H maybe of 2013. And then here we are, case M of 2023. So that's more than 10 years. Kind of crazy. And at that point, you know, you have a lot of new collectors. You have a lot of people who weren't around in 2013. You have a lot of kids who like the Cars movies who weren't even born yet, right? So Mark Wilson is very much so a new release at this point. And it's kind of cool to think about. It. Like it kind of breathes some more life into it all. Now, two other great inclusions in case M are Jeremy, who debuted in case H back in June or whatever. And Adam Rodriguez, who debuted in case J back in June. Now, both of the Walmart versions of those cases did not include either of them, okay? And then Target did not receive either of these cases in any large capacity. I always say in any large capacity because I think there is like one or two reports out there of someone finding case J at Target. I've never seen a report of anyone finding case H at Target though, but I just want to put that out there. So they're back now. Thank gosh, because Adam Rodriguez was on track to be one of the rarest singles as well. Now he's passing the baton on to Randy, Wes Flampus, those guys. Yeah, Jeremy also was, but he is now passing the baton on to, like I said, Randy, Wes Flampus. Some of those are going to be just crazy rare. Patoka is up there as well. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. Kind of cool to think about, though. It's always good to have some value, you know, some sort of, like... I don't know, rarity built into it. I know we always kind of complain, like I can't find this and that, but it's kind of nice. Like there's a point where, you know, if there was so much of everything, it would lose its value and specialness, I guess you could say. So these two are back in case M at Target, and that's a good thing in my opinion. All right, Case M also has Kabuto with Flames here. Now he was released in a two-pack with Kabuto Ninja, last month and the month before so it's nothing like too crazy here but it is you know a good release i'd say shouldn't be too hard to find this one my friend who found the full case m just stumbled upon case m remnants and let me you guys can guess which two did she find like there were two notable cars that she found everything else was gone i'll give you guys a second all right yeah kabuto with flames was one of them the other one was jeremy okay so i do I imagine that if you're going to find Case M Remnants, you're going to see him. You're going to probably see Jeremy or Squat. You're going to see one of the Miles Axarods, but Todd's going to be gone and Adam's going to be gone for sure. Mark's probably going to be one of the first to go as well. Speaking of which, here is Todd. I already opened him up and reviewed him on the channel for you guys. He looks awesome. One of the best Thailand variants I believe they've done in a long time or you know, just in general, I'd say one of the best like top five Thailand variants since they started making them in 2018. So check out that review for sure. For sure, lots of for sures today. Now next up here we have the Disney 105 pack. This, although it's on Amazon, which you know it's actually a really good deal on Amazon. They're selling it for like $15.99, limit three per customer. That's a great deal, let me just tell you that right now. Not gonna tell you I didn't capitalize on that. Then secondly, Meyer. Believe it or not, is getting in these in physical form. That's kind of crazy to me. And so is Best Buy, actually. Just absolutely nuts. <laughs> Two stores. I mean, Meyer, yes, sells cars. Best Buy hasn't had cars since like mini racers in 2017. So it's actually, you know, it's really encouraging to see that. So yeah, if you want to try and find it, don't care about Amazon, go to those stores. Meyer is getting in like a D100 end cap. So if you don't see it in the car section, Check out those frontward facing end caps. There's a whole bunch of other Disney 100 merchandise, including a Hot Wheels character car, Disney six pack, like Donald Duck, Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, Goofy, and the dog, which I am forgetting the name of Pluto. There it is. Bam. All right. So I think that's pretty much everything, guys. KC is hitting some targets right now as well. I found you know a, a fair amount of it and you know, a lot of people are as well. That includes 
Holly Schiffwell, Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet, Heyday Leroy Hemming, all of which are going to be you know the first to go. Suki's in that case as well. Case D is also hitting targets finally. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that all these are just hitting it at the same time. So that's you know Randy Lawson, Duke Coulters, Todd, no, 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 Fair Game, and Doug Crankle. So there you go. Another case that's hitting target is I think this is Case L from last year. So you get another shot, Damage the King, you get Fred, you get Maddie McGear, who's surprisingly become a pretty coveted and desirable release. So yeah, keep your eye out for that. I was able to scoop up a couple of Damage the Kings that I never found last year, kind of nuts. Never found one in 2022, found a couple in 2023. And then also check out your Raw store. The one, the rarest single from 2022 ended up being Dana Crankoff because she didn't hit the United States at any large capacity. Fred Meyer, I know you got in Dana Crankoff, but we're going to just pretend that, you know, really in general, Target or the United States did not get in case J in full. Walmart got the half case, which excluded Dana Crankoff along with some of the other cars from that case. Yellow Hydraulic Ramon, Kathy Copter, Dexter Hoover, and Kabuto. Therefore, because Dana Crankoff is an actual new release, those ones weren't. She became the hardest, rarest release from 2022. Thankfully, though, Ross is here to save you. It makes sense. Where did all these cases go? Like, if no one in the U.S. got them, who did? Well, Houdini, you know, Hocus Pocus, now they're at Ross. And funny, believe it or not, I saw somebody find, like, they said they found a couple singles at Ross. I saw that was Case J. I went to one Ross looking for that, and then bam, guess what? There was only one car in the pegs, and it was Dana Crankoff. It was the best one, 124 chance to have the best car. That's pretty lucky, I would say but I didn't even have my rabbit foot on me. So I don't know how that transpired. I know Sensei Luminous went to a Ross near me as well and came away or didn't even buy it, but it was a yellow hydraulic remote, which isn't a bad release anyways. Like you could think it could be a Lightning McQueen, right? Like that's in case J from 2022. But, you know, hopefully we all get lucky and find a bunch of Dan Crank Ops. Don't like that sticker, though, but I'll take it. And, yeah, this is a great chance to get one of the better and one of the rarest, actually the rarest car from 2022. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments section below. Have you found anything lately in the stores? Have you been enjoying hunting like I have? I really have been, although I haven't found Case M in any capacity, which is really disappointing because I've kind of gone nuts looking for it. I also, what did I do the other day? Oh yeah, I went down to Kroger. Good half an hour drive. Didn't find Clutch Kringle. That kind of sucked, but I think I was just a little too early. And so, yeah, kind of sucks. I don't have too many Krogers by me. The closest one is, yeah, like 30 miles. And the next closest one is like an hour. So, yeah, guys, thanks as always for watching. I really do appreciate it. Good luck out there. Keep on hunting. You'll eventually find stuff. It's all about timing. It's when preparation meets opportunity. That right there is luck. All right, guys, see you soon. Bye now.